over to the Mac ecosystem from my custom built PCs. At the time, I purchased the mid-2015 15-inch MacBook Pro and it has served me well, but it just had a few major issues. Now, the reason why I switched over to the Mac ecosystem from my PC was mainly for two reasons. First, I was a student and second, mainly, was because the MacBook offered the portability that desktop PCs just simply couldn't offer. But now, this is it. This is the 2019 13-inch MacBook Pro. So as most of you guys know, Apple has recently refreshed the 13-inch Pro line with the price drop and the inclusion of the touch bar across the spectrum. Okay, wait one second. Well, anyways, this is a little bit upgraded from the base. People are going nuts on the measly 1.4 gigahertz i5, but with a little bit of benchmarking, we all know this quad-core i5 is actually surprisingly powerful, and I have to highly suggest not getting the upgraded 2.4 gigahertz i5 or the i7. They offer minimal boosts in performance, like around three to five percent only. So for that $300 or $600 upgrade, I would definitely skip that CPU upgrade. And what I did was I upgraded my RAM to 16 gigabytes and my storage to a 500 gigabyte SSD. Now, I really love this new 13 inch form factor compared to my old 15 inch. I really wish I had my old 15 inch MacBook Pro in hand so I could show you guys how big of a difference it is. And maybe it's just personal preference for me, but I much prefer the 13 inch screen. But what makes this the perfect MacBook Pro setup. Now this is my eGPU setup and connecting it to my MacBook Pro gives it a shit ton of graphical performance and for me, which benefits my video editing, especially in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now this is the Mantis Venus eGPU enclosure and the reason why I chose this one was because this, in my opinion, offers the most bang for your buck considering you get five additional USB 3.0 ports and an ethernet port for $279. Compared to the Razer Core X or the Sonic Breakaway Box, this, in my opinion, is a better choice and it looks clean and matches perfectly with my MacBook Pro, which is awesome. For sub $300, the Vega 56 is a really good value card. I probably would have been fine going with the RX 580, but I just wanted to give myself a little bit of headroom. And I really wanted to try out the new AMD cards, the Navi cards, the 5700 and the 5700 XT, but they currently do not support an eGPU enclosure for Mac OS, so that's why I couldn't get that. And for comparison for real world editing, I can now finally run full resolution playback on Adobe Premiere Pro with absolute ease, which I'm actually unable to do with the MacBook Pro itself. I usually run one half or a quarter resolution, but with 4K footage on a 13 inch screen on a small window itself, uh, I'm okay with that. But I wanted to see how much of a difference it would be with X1, my last 4K video, the Portland video, if you haven't seen it, link in the description but anyways rendering out that seven minute 4k h.264 video with the macbook pro itself it took 36 minutes and 15 seconds now with the egpu the same video h.264 it took 14 minutes and 35 seconds which is cuts over half the render time half now max tech did an excellent video comparing the baseline 13 inch macbook pro with a $3,500 15 inch MacBook Pro. And although he uses the Vega 64 in that video, the 13 inch actually performs slightly better. And if you want more detailed comparison, I'll link his video down below because honestly, I don't have a spec'd out 15 inch right here to compare. <laughs> I'm just sorry, but that video is fantastic. All right, I am currently running Unigen Heaven Benchmark on the MacBook Pro itself. Uh, if the audio changed, it's because 
my MacBook is not connected to my Blue Yeti anymore. It's just simply using the Rovania Mic Pro. But anyways, I'm running this. Uh, I got frames per second, 25.4, and a score of 640. With connecting to my eGPU setup, right, I have a new score. Make and cut, plug this. Of 62.5 frames per second and a score of 1,573. That is two and a half times more power. This, now in my opinion, has become the best Mac value that you can currently get. And I know you could get a better value building a custom built PC, but you just can't connect, like, you can't take the desktop PC to go. Like, I could unplug this and take this 13 inch and go to school and it will be a nice, powerful, compact system and I could do some Lightroom editing, some light video editing and then when I come home, I could plug it in and it fully becomes a functional workstation desktop and that convenience is worth paying. But anyways, this isn't a MacBook Pro review itself, I just want to quickly talk about this ecosystem that I have here. The other things I love about the MacBook Pro is first, the display is extremely color accurate, which is very important for video creators and content creators like me. And also the speakers are really good. Like it's way better than my 15 inch MacBook Pro from mid 2015. And also the trackpad is very good, which is standard of Apple. And the keyboard is all right. The new butterfly switch is all right. The touch bar is functional. It's not game changing. And the only thing I wish I had was extra Thunderbolt ports. That would probably be the main reason why I would have splurged $300 more for the upgraded model. But anyways, if you want a comprehensive review of the MacBook Pro itself, I'm sure there's a lot of creators out there that made excellent videos on details on everything that you need to know about the new 13 inch baseline MacBook Pro. And if you haven't noticed, I have a new desk I have new speakers, which you know what that means. A new setup tour, and I'm so excited about that. I can't wait to shoot that and try to see what I can do with that video. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, please. And also my Spotify, I got some bangers. But anyways, I'll link that in the description. If you like this video, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe for more similar content like this. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.